Thank God. Your name's not Star anymore. Thank God my name's not Todd Manning anymore. I mean, at least on the passports. Now we can finally take that trip. Say goodbye to Landview, Pennsylvania, and the rest of this stupid country forever. this pile of Lincoln Logs, head off into the wild blue yonder. Tell you what, you be the navigator, okay? You know how to fly? Now all you gotta do is tell me when you see the island of Bali. Just give me a sign, all right? Sorry guys, you're gonna have to wheel your plane back into its hangar. Why, well, what happened? Just talked to the pilot. He said there's a weather advisory throughout all of eastern Pennsylvania. There's a line of thunderstorms coming through. It's already on Lantana Mountain, so nothing's coming in or taking off for the next few hours at least. Oh, look, I'm just piped down, will you? I'm doing the best I can. I don't like this situation any more than you do. It's freezing. Leave it to Vicky to not have any wood. Shorty, I'm going out. I'm going to get some wood, all right? Try not to wreck the place. die, they go to Landview. Look, I never bought any of that stuff, but I figured if I was going to come back, it would be like a cockroach or a gopher or something. But God has a sense of humor, so I'm back as me. Look, I'm as anxious to get out of here as you are, but do me a favor, okay? Pretend this was all a bad dream. So go on, get out of here. There's a path down there. will take you to the road. Somebody will pick you up. What are you waiting for, Marty? Lightning to strike? Hold it! Marty, I told you to get out of here. I should have known it would take more than death to separate us. Boom to tomb. I'm back again. Back from where? How? To what? Look, Marty, you have no right to ask me these questions. Oh, I have a million more where that came from. 
And I'm going to stay here until I get answers to every one of them. Marty, what difference does it make how I got here? I'm leaving. Look, I'm not even here now. I'm a hallucination. No, no, see, when I was drinking, I couldn't tell what was real from what wasn't. But I'm sober oh, now. For God's sake, who cares if you're There sober? were witnesses. Patrick was in Ireland when you took the bullet that was meant for him. They put you in a car and pushed you over a cliff into the Irish Sea. How did you survive? I should have died, I should have drowned, I should have bled to death. But I didn't. Because uh, a fisherman found me, took care of me. Why didn't you send word back to the States? I didn't even know who I was. It took me months to get back my memory, my strength. And when it all came back to me, I wanted to come here in my own time, in my own way. Look, Marty, I, I got a lot of loose ends to do. I don't what have time to be... wife? What about Blair? Does she even know you're alive? Have you seen her? Todd! No, I, I haven't seen her. I just got here today. Today? Why did you come to Vicky's cabin? What was that? Not enough there, as far as I can tell. It must have been a squirrel or a, or a rat or something. You don't have to hide up here at your sister's cabin. You have a family in Landview, a wife and a baby. Do you, do you even know about her? No, I know all about the kid. Vicky told me. Vicky? I thought you came straight here. I did. Come straight here from the airport where I saw Vicky. She was on her way out of town, and um, I saw her. She was in the first class lounge. She was buying a drink for one of her personalities, and uh, boy, when she saw me, she wanted to call the Ghostbusters. I don't blame her. Yeah, but then she finally calmed down, and she told me that I could come up here and use the cabin until I was ready to show my face. What's stopping you? Haven't you ever wanted time to, you know, sort things out? Get everything straight in your head? Yeah, how do you think I ended up on Lantana Mountain tonight? Oh, I don't know. You tell me. No, no, you don't. Don't what? We were talking about you. You've been given a second chance here. I don't understand why you don't want to run home and make the most of every moment. You sound like a greeting card. You think it's that easy? Marty, coming back from the dead, it's kind of messy. You want me to just walk back through the door and say, honey, I'm home, make me dinner? I've been pretty close to death myself, or I've wanted to be. Yeah. <sighs> Something I want to tell you. When I heard the news that you'd been shot instead of Patrick, I, I, uh, I, I, was, I was upset, knowing that you had come to Ireland as a favor for me. And uh, well, you're not the only one with a guilty conscience. Come on, Marty. Found out I was dead, you must have wanted to drink a champagne. At another point in my life, I would have. Oh, right, lupus. Okay, so apple cider, whatever. Just stop it. I'm telling you, I was upset when I heard the news. And Patrick was, too. He came back to Landview, and he vowed that he'd find the men that were responsible and make them pay for it. He was upset. I bet he was. Well, you, you blame him? 
Dornhardt? No. He didn't pull the trigger. Well, good, because he's decided to make Landview his home. Oh, good. So, you married the big dumb pick in a wheelchair. Does that make you Mrs. Marty Moody? I'm, I'm not going to fight with you. Because I haven't forgotten that you were the one who gave me the courage to go to Ireland in the first place. To cut off my aunt. To stand on my own two feet. That trip changed my life. That makes two of us. I never had the chance to thank you for that. Well, if that's the way you feel about it, then maybe it's your turn to do me a favor. 